let's go ahead and start off with tangent. So recall by definition that sine of theta is opposite of hypotenuse. And recall that cosine of theta is adjacent of hypotenuse. Tangent of theta, we're going to make the claim that tangent of theta is sine of theta over cosine of theta. Why? Well, look what happens. If I were to go ahead and take sine of theta, and put them over each other, we have this and this. These cancel out, leaving me opposite over adjacent. But by definition, opposite over adjacent is tangent. So in other words, what we just did is we proved that tangent of theta is equal to sine over cosine of that same angle. Okay. Problem two is about a very important thing called the Pythagorean identity. An identity is something that is equal to one. So as you'll see in this, in this proof, we're going to find that at the end, this is going to be equal to one. And that's going to be our purpose for this proof. This is a very different and unique proof. Um, this is a fundamental proof where we're going to use x, y, and r. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow these, uh, these steps. A, identify the center. Check. B, draw a radius. Check. C, label the radius. Ah, snap. Check. Let's superimpose an x, y axis. Meaning that, oh, that was bad. Here's an x axis, here's a y axis. Let's make some legs here. So if I go ahead and drop this and I connect it here, I get a right triangle. This would be the x from here to here, and then the y would be this leg right here. Let's write down the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem for this triangle is going to be not a squared and b squared and c squared. It's going to be x squared, y squared, r squared. So we get x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So that's the Pythagorean theorem, but we're going to prove the identity right now. So here's what we're going to do. Looking at this triangle right here, let's assume that this angle right here is called theta. All right, based on this corner, based on angle theta, I can say that sine of theta is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse, and cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now, if we do a little bit of math, if I multiply both sides by r, I can cancel these out and get the y by itself. So I get y is equal to r times sine theta. And I get, if I do the same thing here, I get x is equal to r cosine of theta. And what's going to happen is you see this x? I want to replace into here. But this x is r cosine theta. And this y is going to be replaced with this y right here. So in other words, the x is going to be r cosine theta. The y is going to be r sine theta. Let me see about moving this up a bit, get more room.
if I distribute this, they both get it. I get r squared times cosine, oops, squared theta, plus r squared times sine squared theta is equal to r squared. Notice, I left you a note here, that if I that if I have sine theta squared with the twos on the outside, like it was over here, that I can also write it in here like this. Okay, that's what that's I did. That's all there is to it. So in essentially, what I'm saying is, if you have cosine theta squared, that's like saying cosine theta times, sorry, times cosine theta, and that is cosine squared theta. Because it's the cosine that's squared, not the theta. You don't want to square the angle. You're squaring the actual function itself. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and divide all of these guys by r squared. And what happens is this is gone, and this is gone. And r squared over r squared is equal to 1. So this whole thing becomes cosine squared. plus sine squared is equal to 1. And traditionally, we, the way we write this is we would write it as sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So all I did was just switch the sine and the cosine around. This, folks, is a Pythagorean identity. It's going to keep showing up over and over and over again in this class. Okay. So after we're done with proofs, we move on to something else, it's going to show up again. And when we do uh, a double angle forming, it's going to show up again. When we do uh, other things, it's going to show up again. Laws of sines, laws of cosines, it'll probably show up again. Okay, so very important. This is called a Pythagorean identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. It's called an identity because it's equal to 1. Okay. And you know where this came from, right? It came from the Pythagorean theorem.